Good afternoon. Welcome on in to another episode of From Day One. This afternoon, we have two sovereign citizens that are in court with zero brain cells among both of them. Courtesy of our good friend, Father Sekeftu. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have two sovereign citizens making two court appearances. And both of these videos are previews of what's to come in the month of December. First, we head to the Bottle Municipal Court to watch one of those of the family song parts. So let's begin. And our next we can take Aaron Thomas. Okay. And your honor, after speaking with Mr. Thomas, um, he was not comfortable with me um, signing the rights form on his behalf, and he would like to have an arraignment um, in person. And that's fine. Can you hear us all right, Mr. Thomas? Yes, sir. All right, very good. This is 3A757954 and 3A757. 955. When can we arraign him in person? Please carry. Um, Your Honor, due to the holiday schedule that really is to be December 7th, at 2.30. Okay, Mr. Thomas, write down December 7 at 2.30 and confirm when you've done that. Okay. One second here. No, no problem. Yeah, I got my phone stolen last night, so I got to do it on my computer here. Yeah, no problem. Just let me know when you got that in there. All right. Did you get it in there? Not quite yet. I'm open up. Okay. No. You let, just let me know. Yeah, he'll let you know when he can figure out how to type letters and numbers into a computer. Because using technology like pen and paper is just a bit too hard for a sovereign citizen. Thank you, sir. So December 7th at 2.30, correct? Right. All right, I got you. And it's here at the Bothell Municipal Court, Mr. Thomas. Hey, thanks. All right, yeah, I got it now. Thanks, thanks so much for uh, writing that down. Um, and uh, keep that, don't erase that, that's your notice. Got an actual notice, right? Well, oh yeah, I mean I yeah, I put I have it on my computer here. Fantastic. Thanks. And right. I'll be able to the, court, the court's found probable cause for the prosecution is charged, so subject to you and your lawyer already addressing this. You should be here on time for all scheduled hearings, commit no criminal acts. Don't drive until you have a valid license and insurance in your pocket. Any questions about all that? No, no, I wasn't driving though. Good. Please don't, unless you have license and insurance in your pocket. I would right? never try. Yeah, yeah, I would never try. That's fantastic. Glad to hear it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. Next case. Okay, cool. Have a good day. See you too. All right. So that's the end of the first video. It looks like his next appearance will be an in-person hearing, but that's only for an arraignment. And I'm sure he'll be back to Zoom court hearings after that. Now, let's head to Judge Martin's courtroom. Well, we have a real moron trying to pull the same sovereign citizen nonsense that's never worked before. Mr. Frank Michaud, uh, who is present here on Zoom. Mr. Michaud, can you say your name for the record? Uh, for the record, I am the beneficiary of Frank Anthony Michaud Jr. estate. I am the authorized representative, and I appoint oh, one of these. as the trustee, ma'am. Well, that's not how that works, even if you've read online that that's how that works. Appointing a judge as your trustee is a sovereign citizen's way of trying to create a conflict of interest with the judge presiding over the case, and it's a dead giveaway that you have a room temperature IQ. Mr. Mohammed. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. My apologies for interrupting your breakout, but I want to get some of the matters that are already on screen and ready cleared out. Mr. Okay. Sullivan and Mr. Moshu. Ready? Thank you. Today is a day and time set for the probable cause conference. How are we proceeding, Mr. Sullivan? Judge, as I was saying earlier, um, Mr. Michaud has indicated that he'd like to represent himself. Um, hopefully, if it's uh, acceptable to him, I can remain just sort of uh, presence for the proceedings in case he has any questions. 
Um, you know, my recommendation to him is that uh, we demand all of the discovery in the case. Uh, we have paper discovery. Uh, I'm forwarding that to him, but we don't have any of the digital discovery. Uh, so we are requesting all of that. And then I'm also uh, recommending to Mr. Michaud that uh, we schedule the case for a preliminary exam. Um, and I'm happy to be present for that as well. Mr. Mohammed. Yeah, Judge. So I don't believe we had an attorney on record on file for this case. Mm -hmm. um, and that's probably why discovery wasn't sent over. Um, also, I believe we're missing some stuff as well. And we're in the process of getting them as well. Um, if Mr. Sullivan's going to be the attorney moving forward, we'll send it to him. But if he's no longer going to be retained, then I don't. I don't know. I don't think it's useful to send it over to him. So if we can know who the attorney is moving forward, we'll send that discovery to that attorney. Mr. Sullivan, are you formally making a request to withdraw from this case? Judge, maybe uh, my, my request is that we have an adjourned PCC for um, me to meet with Mr. Michaud and, and discuss this further, unless uh, he'd like to make a decision just here and now. Um, perhaps one adjourned PCC and some additional time for uh, Mr. Michaud and I to discuss this. Uh, we can come up with an arrangement where I'm at least receiving the discovery, you know, on his behalf and try to facilitate this for him. Uh, but uh, I, I do want to respect his desires to represent himself. And Judge, Sorry, people would have people would have no objection to um, any adjournment and if Mr. Sullivan is the attorney moving forward, please just send me an email letting me know um, so that way I can make sure digital is sent to you. You ever notice that when the adults get left uninterrupted to talk, they get things done? I mean, his lawyer, whom he doesn't even want, has laid out a pretty good legal strategy for him to follow. Unfortunately, the adults are now done talking and the child gets to speak. Mr. Michaud, were you able to hear Mr. Sullivan just now? Uh, yes, ma'am. I heard everything I was said. And, and was I that a reasonable stand. way to proceed at this time? I'm sorry. Oh, no, I really, I, and I still stand as being uh, the beneficiary of, of the state and point trustee. Um, mm -hmm. And the man that uh, this debt, alleged debt, is discharged from my account, from my exemption account. You were doing so much better when you were just sitting there not talking. You don't have an exemption account. In fact, the next time you go to your online sovereign citizen guru to get more ignorant information, tell him you'll be paying with your exemption account and see if he'll take that as payment. <laughs> as I sent over a uh, copy of my birth certificate, uh, as well as an affidavit. Uh, I don't know if you received it, but it's been sent sorry, by mail. And that is me standing as making a special appearance today. And with the challenge of the jurisdiction, since uh, I have not really been fully uh, told or really, I really don't understand really the allegations or the nature and causes of this well, uh, allegations. Now that I believe, hell, I'd believe you if you told me you don't understand how to tie your own shoes or how to put on underwear without inhaling a sock. On my estate. Sir, so. in, I'll, I'll interrupt you just for a moment. In as much as you've indicated that you don't understand or have not been fully apprised of the nature of the allegations, we will adjourn this matter over for three weeks. That adjourned PCC date will be December 20th at 8.45 with Judge Oakley. The adjourned PCC date will be December 20th, 2023 at 8.45 a.m. That's in person in courtroom number two with Chief Judge Brian Oakley. And between now and then, Mr. Sullivan, you have the opportunity to speak with your client, bring him up to date on the status of these matters and the explanation of the charges against him. And if you want to at that time have a conversation with Judge Oakley about how you could be proceeding or not proceeding as counsel, that will be the time to do it. Is there anything else, Mr. Mohammed? Nothing from the people, Judge. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Sullivan? Judge, I apologize for uh, the inconvenience, but I am 
in a sentencing um, that morning of the 20th. I don't know if there's the court availability like later in the morning. Um, I, I could make it work late morning on the 20th or the afternoon on the 20th. 1045? That'd, that'd be much better. Thank you very much. Thank you. 1045 on December 20th. That concludes this matter. You're free to go. You have a good afternoon. All right, so that's the end of today's video. It looks like we have two more court dates coming up. December 7th in Bothell and December 20th in Judge Oakley's courtroom. And I don't know if you guys remember Judge Oakley or not, but I've covered him before on this channel, and he does not play around with nonsensical soft tardians. Hey, he's under the barcode, though. This is what you signed up to do to a public servant. Unless you are a price on a can of beans, we don't need a barcode. So if you like the video, <laughs> hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. Thank you very much. Skip the game. All right, we were going to get it. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, a lot more today, but sometimes subtards are, well, subtards. All right. So, march on down. Let's see what items we need in the proverbial nature. Okay, we need a summoning in the summon circle. Get that done. Actually, yeah. Let's see if we can find another one real quick. Uh, let's go here. Have you all noticed that uh, everything that's written down on paper uh, at the courthouses? In the jails, uh, for you know the other things, everything that they want in, in in all caps, you know, like the words uh, BPGA uh, expired vehicle registration. That's in all caps. That's Admiralty language. Uh, uh, the language that that they use is not a normal English language. It's in all caps. It's, uh, they're working outside of our common laws using all caps uh, letters. That's why your name's in all caps. They taken you out of uh, the jurisdiction of common law. This is my, my Max Hedro. There's more. Because you are going to see it as well. And welcome to Facts or Frauds. Thank you. Mahalo. Why are you showing our private property? Because violation of the city ordinance. 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 Is it a law? Is it law? It's an ordinance. Is it law? It's an ordinance. I'm just asking, is it law? Yes, it's, it's basically a law. It's an ordinance. City ordinance. Is, is it a law? Law or color of law? From the city of Newcastle, yes. Is it law or color of law? It's an ordinance. That's right. Our friends from Indiana are back. And they seem to have parked their traveling automobile on the street. Oh, it's law, too. State. State of Indiana. That's a corporation. No, no we're, we're not doing business. We're not playing this game. I'm not, I'm okay, I'm going to get all my stuff. Okay. I'm not, I'm not even got nothing to do with sovereignty. No, it's not a lot. It's less. Yeah, it's a little more than I was hoping, but you know, that's okay. Excuse me, Captain. Yes. Is this going to end town or could be towed to Indianapolis to our home? No, it's going to end town. All right, that's just a little taste. Come on back for the evening session, and we'll have this more on in full. Until then, like, share, and subscribe. Be kind to one another, and release the Kraken as we march along this evening, afternoon, and every afternoon here from day one. We'll see you tonight. Bye.
to work 